want to ask everyone if you can please silence your phones for today's service. I'll do the same. Take all the photos you want and video. We also will be videotaping today's service and posting it on our Facebook page, DFW Post 245. All right, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to pay a lasting tribute of respect to our departed comrade. When the call of our country was heard, comrade Richard Allen Folk answered, self was forgotten in the cause of the greater good. As a brave man, he marched away with abiding faith in his God, his country, and our flag. The red of our flag was made greater still by his heroism, the white more stainless and pure by the motives that imperiled him. And in the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. On the guard, hurry, rest. The chaplain will now invoke the divine blessing. Comrade Chaplain. Let's please bow our heads in prayer. Almighty and merciful God and Father of all, in the midst of these monuments of the dead, we see your hand of mercy. And in the depth of our sorrow, we realize the truth. Though we die, we shall live again in the shelter of your love. As comrades depart this life, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful to you and to one another. We ask that you would look with mercy upon all of us assembled here, and with your compassion, tenderness, counsel, and comfort, those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Heavenly Father, bless our nation with freedom, peace, and righteousness, and through your sovereign and Holy Spirit's favor, may we meet at last before your throne of grace in heaven. And to your great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. One by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fulfill the sad duties of respect for our departed comrade. Imbued by a spirit of devotion and inspired by an undying love for his native land, Richard gladly went forth 
and join with comrades, both young and old, to preserve our heritage of freedom. As the years roll on, we too shall finish our fight, we shall be laid to rest, and our souls shall follow the long columns to the realms above. There will be no more sunrises, minutes, hours, or days, as all unfolding death shall mark his recruit. How would a measure of our days be measured? What matters is not what we bought, rather what we built. Not what we have, but what we gave. What matters is not our success, but our significance. What grows is not what we learn, but what we taught. What's remembered is not our competence, but our character. What would linger is not how many people we knew, rather how many will feel the stinging loss when we are gone. Blessed are those lives that live beyond their passing. Let us so live that when the keeper of the eternal records shall call our names for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us as we now say of our departed comrade, friend, and loved one. Here lies all that is mortal of a true-hearted comrade and a fearless defender of his country, his family, and our flag. Officers, you now perform the last duties of your station. Officer of the day. I place this token of affection from his comrade in arms upon the urn of her departed comrade and crown his mortal dust with the symbol of victory. Junior Vice Commander. On behalf of Post 2485, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, I present this tribute as a symbol of our undying love to our comrade. Senior Vice Commander. I place this humble charity upon the urn and may each future generation emulate the unselfish devotion to duty of all our nation's veterans. On behalf of our glorious republic, for whose integrity Richard enlisted and served, I place upon his urn the flag of our country, a country whose arms are always open to shelter the oppressed. We'll have the Fleet Reserve Association perform the solemn two bell ceremony.
morning on behalf of Fleet Reserve Association Branch 367 in San Miguel Zavalas. I'll perform a two-bell ceremony for our fallen shipmate. The toll of the ship's bell reminds us of the reverence we owe to our departed shipmates and to those who guard the honor of our country. Upon the sea, under the sea, in the air, and upon foreign soil, let it be a reminder of the faith they confide in us. Let us who gather here not forget our obligations, and in silence breathe a prayer for our absent shipmates. Each in his or her own words, and each in his or her own way, bow your heads and let us pray. Offering a silent prayer for our departed shipmates, who are now serving on the staff of the Supreme Commander. This moment of reverence we dedicate to the memory of shipmate Richard Allen Falk, Damage Controlman First Class, United States Navy Veteran. This ends the two bell ceremony. At this time, we'll have the chaplain give a prayer. Comrade Chaplain. Please, let's bow our heads in prayer. We come today to honor the memory of one who offered their life as a service to our nation's cause and to our God. Proudly we remember their service. Because of men and women like our comrade Richard, we live in a land of freedom, peace, and justice. May our ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and our friend. We believe that our comrade is now in the hands of our Heavenly Father, the Supreme Commander and Judge of all. As we lay our comrades ashes to rest, let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them. Let us be loyal and faithful to our remaining missions in life so that we will join the great fraternity which is on earth and in heaven and remains unbroken. We realize how futile mere words are to express our deep and abiding sympathy for your loss. May we be comforted by the assurance that our comrade, friend, and loved one is at rest in God's eternal peace and abides in a place where all burdens are lifted and there is no more sickness and pain. Comrades, let us pledge ourselves anew to provide support and protection for those left behind, to pick up the banner laid down by our comrade and continue to march to face the challenges that confront us in this life. May God always be our companion.